Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is the very first tutorial of Angels Mods. We are going to dive into refining and looking at basic crushing and sorting in this episode. So I'm playing a lot of Angels Mods and Bob's Mods for that matter as well and I'm seeing a lot of comments on hey how do I do this. So this is meant as a tutorial to get everyone started on the Angels Mods. It's an absolute brilliant mod pack. It's an overhaul of the game. It does a lot of great things for the game. So I hope you will enjoy it. And if you find it difficult, I hope these tutorials will help. Now, at the very early game, I have put in some materials for me so I can simulate the early game. And this is where we'll imagine this comes in. So immediately, just to walk through it, you will see that these ore are not the ones that you are familiar with. The only one familiar is the coal part. In Angel Mod, you have Angel's Ore, for that matter, you have some new ore. You have Geolite, Crotinium, Stereotite, Sapphirite, Bobmonium, and Rubite. Yes, you will get the hang of that. Basically, what should be mentioned is that Sapphirite and Stereotite are the first basic ones. This one is the main yield for Iron, Sapphirite, and the Stereotite is the main yield for Copper. So let's uh, get started from there. Now, the part about uh, this mod is that you first you take this ore and you can't just start putting it into a belt. You must be able to crush it. So the very first step is a crushing mechanism, which is what we do here. We take crushes. I do not recommend using the burner crushers for very long, and so please switch to or please put. I would recommend switching to the electrified ore crushers. They're faster. They're not much they're more difficult to make, and you don't have to drag the coal everywhere. These are the possible formulas you can make. And here you can see you can crush the various materials. So we will to do sapphirite crushing in this, copy it to the other one. Here we can see sapphirite crushing yields actually two crushed sapphirite and one crushed stone. This is where the complexity of Angel's Mod comes in. This is primarily because one machine is producing different materials and it's about keep, keeping track of it. Now the in the beginning of the game you will not have filter inserters so you need to find a different way of managing this the best way i've found is to do direct insertions into machines because it will only assert into a machine if it's possible to do so for example here we can take the crush stone and somehow put it back in together into stone so by taking the output from here in directly into that machine it will only put in this part leaving the sapphirite the crushed sapphirite ready for other things in this one, you will rec you will need two inserters unless you have the inserter stack bonus, which I do have because I researched this is late game. But in the beginning, I think you need two. Let's hook it up with some power. Good. So this works. What you're seeing now is it works fast, and it'll now get stuck because it cannot output here. It cannot output here. Let's work on that. I will output the stone on this line down here and put an long belts so that at least that's sorted what can be done now with the crushed stone is that this crushed stone no not the crushed stone the crushed sapphirite can actually be inserted directly into machines and this is where we will then need to bring in the coal so let's bring in some coal we have that up here let's bring it in there and i'm gonna need it shortly in a different way so at this location what we'll definitely do is this and then we have output as well let's start by getting some coal in and getting this iron out and hooking up with some power lines i'm not saying this is the optimal way of doing it but it is in my opinion a pretty good way well actually i probably need this as well so what you can see now is this is the basic layout the basic way of creating going from the sapphire or any of the other ones for that matter into the regular form that you know it's not that big of a deal the only thing that's different is that you have this part so once you get familiar with it this is also a nice way of creating more stone anyway um this one can then be replicated on the other side as well that's pretty easy i'll just do that as well if i can recall i could also use a blueprint but since you don't have blueprints early in the game i think that would be a bit unfair and let's see if I can I can mirror it and see I already made a mistake here because these of course have to be long inserters there 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 and there 
and this is also the reason for me to take this one as it is typical. Just do a very basic setup here. Great. And get some power poles up and running. Now this is the basic setup for smelting in, in the early game. In order to generate this the iron, you take sapphire. Want to do exactly the same for uh, for copper, then do steratite. You can also, if you use running bulbs mods, which I highly recommend that you do, you can take balmonia, make it into tin, and you can take rubite, make it into lead. The crotinium and jewelite are the more advanced ones. They can be transformed into uh, into copper and iron but not through this simple process only through a more complicated process so this one is running this is very nice no problems here what I would like to show is sort of the next tier this will keep you going and I recommend to keep it at this tech level until you have the first filter inserters because with the filter inserters there are two more techs that you need you will need a big uh, sorting facility this part I would also highly recommend that uh, you get the warehouses, either Angel's warehouses. Let's just uh, have a look. Warehouse here. 50 uh, science packs once, not a big deal. Very easy to get. This is the bigger issue. I mean, 50 steel plate, that might be a bit much in the early game. But in any case, you can get that. And I recommend doing that. Sorry about the noise from the aliens. They are ripping me apart at the perimeter. So the next level is actually, again, you start with crushing. Always start with crushing. However, in this case, I would recommend actually putting it into a big blob here. Let's make it like this. And see. And let's link it over here. So again, we'll take two in and two out. So they'll now start filling this one up. And this is the reason why is that now this is huge. So don't worry about it. This will fill up slowly. Then we can take the ore sorting facility. The sorting facility basically takes, takes ore inbound and takes four, three components out. You will also be able to see that there are many. Each one can be sorted and they can be sorted at various different tech levels. Uh, 22 things are being destroyed, that's not good. Um, for example, the more advanced one will generate some more advanced materials as well. This belongs to Bob, Bob Smarts and to, uh, to Uranium Power. However, we'll choose the simple one here. And we of course need to get some power for this. So one, two, three, four, no. Okay, I, I know there was a good way of doing this. Let me just say, one, two. It's outside of that. There, okay, this is how I wanted it. That one and that one. So what happens now is I'm taking, two are going in here. These, these two are filling up the ore sorting facility. The ore sorting, oh, sorry, this is way too noisy. But let's have a look at it. We take four inbound crushed sapphire, and the outbound is one slag, two, two iron, and one copper. Which means that it's actually, if you look at it from a pure perspective of iron, it is not as efficient as this one because this one takes three crust and bakes it into two iron plates, while this one takes four crust and makes it into two iron plate. However, you will get, uh, if you count both as productive, both the iron and the copper, then you get three output for four input. If you're also counting the slag as valuable, I do, because that's very valuable later on, we can come back to that in a later episode, then that's, uh, that's way more worth it. You take four in and four out. 
So that's definitely recommendable. Now, in order to get this out, this is where I'd recommend waiting until you have uh, a filter inserters because there is a pretty clean way of doing it with filter inserters that is not really as possible to do without filter inserters. Oops. So with filter inserters, you can make some pretty neat uh, output that will then be possible to scale out. Of course, if you do loaders, this will be even easier, but I don't use that, at least not now. There and there. So you can see now we have these coming out and they can be brought into some uh, regular columns for, for smelting. So these are the two very basic ways of making, uh, of making the regular materials out of the normal materials in the refining mod. The refining mod goes from the raw ore into, uh, into the normal standard ore of either the vanilla game. I do not recommend it playing with the vanilla game, it's too boring, but I particularly want to recommend playing it with, with boss mods. So the, what happens in the later stages is that you put many more steps in. So first you just have pure crushing, then you have crushing plus sorting, and later on you'll have crushing plus something plus something, 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 and sorting. But that's a topic for another day. Which means that at any given time you need to, you will often need to rescale. But please keep in mind, this is very important, the higher techs are not more efficient in terms of generating iron. So if you always scale up to the most advanced one, you will actually see that you are getting not enough iron because you're getting too many, I'm talking boss mods, you're getting too many of the small usage materials like silver, gold, aluminium, nickel, zinc, those kind of things. You'll get too much of that by using advanced. So you don't always just use the most advanced formula. You use the formula that's most appropriate for what you need and you can balance it. So this one this setup is perfectly viable in the later stages of the game. Because if you're just missing iron, just get on with it. Build this setup with more advanced machines, but just build it, get on with it. Get a lot of, uh, of iron going. Don't make the more advanced ones because they're more complicated. So only do it when you need it. And that should be it for uh, this very first tutorial. I hope this helped you on getting started on the refining process of Angel's Mods. And if you like it, leave a like and uh, comments. And we'll be back for another tutorial on the more advanced parts. So thank you very much for joining and I'll see you next time. Bye.